Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus Do Sign series. This is for Venus and Leo. So if in your birth chart, Venus is sitting in the sign of Leo, this would be for you. Um, if you don't know where your Venus is at, you can pause this video and go to astro.com, enter your birth information um, to create a free birth chart. So it's gonna ask for your birth day, time, location. If you don't know your birth time, you can enter 12 p.m., that's fine. Um, just to see where your Venus is at. And then sometimes both your Venus and Sun can be sitting in the same sign. So uh, the message was still apply. Um, and then those of you that do know your exact birth time, uh, if you happen to have Leo as your seventh house, making you Aquarius rising, then this should also apply to you as well. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. Uh, you guys don't forget to hit the like button Please continue to uh, like, share, and subscribe. And if you want a personal or private reading, be sure to email tomajtarot at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Um, so let's see what we have going on here. Uh, central issue, heart of the matter. We have the Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, The Fool, uh, the world, the sun, eight of wands, the king of wands, and the eight of pinnacles. Okay, so with this uh, central issue being a seven of cups and a three of swords, I'm feeling like some of you could have been going through uh, a situation where there was temptation, uh, there could have been betrayal with an affair, even if it was just an emotional affair. Um, maybe someone left or just walked out of the relationship and let you down. Um, I feel like there's something that was done where maybe you weren't thinking about how anyone else felt. You could have just been looking out for your own interests. Um, and it just, you know, you you separated from someone and you went after, um, you know, someone that you've been fantasizing about. Um, or maybe this happened to you. Always keep in mind, this can go the other way around. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling like there was some sort of betrayal. Uh, I feel like the truth came out. There was some sort of secret. Um, someone maybe felt like they have given you their everything or you feel like you've given someone your everything. Um, and I just kind of feel like someone is just going after what they want now, going after their passions. Um, but I also feel like there was something in regards to uh, betrayal, like someone did something behind your back. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting like an affair type energy, a third party situation going on. So because of that, you know, now things have ended. Um, there has been, you know, maybe that was the last straw. Um, but yeah, I feel like someone is finally moving on, either you or someone else. And, you know, there is a new chapter that's beginning overall. So I feel that with the sun coming out, this is a rebirth. You're having some sort of renewal. Um, you know, you're, you're leaving behind any type of old energy or you're leaving behind something that wasn't working um, and you are just finding you, you are doing you, uh, you might be newly single, uh, you're now free to start dating, free to start talking to other people. Um, also, this could have happened in, in regards to your love interests, uh, anything that could have been blocking you and this person from being together, maybe um, that has now ended, so now you guys are free to be together. Uh, I am seeing like a strong soulmate connection between two people. Um, I'm seeing two people having like a conversation. Um, 
or some sort of flirtation going on between two people or someone is starting something back up with their um, with someone from the past I almost said an, an ex but it, it could be with someone from the past like you're picking up from where you left off and you're tying up any loose ends here I also feel like there's going to be a lot of flirtation going on with you and another person you could be dealing with uh, Aries Leo Sag also could be dealing with an Aquarius or Virgo or Libra Um, and also I'm feeling like this might be pertaining to your career life. So you're going off, maybe you're letting go of, you know, walking away from a position or a company and people might be saying that you're chasing a dream, thinking you're acting like a fool, but you feel like this is the best thing for you. So you might be traveling or relocating, uh, or doing something to follow your creative endeavors here um, and I feel like you're very dedicated and very focused this is uh, especially for those of you that are artists or free spirited um, you are like no it's time for me to focus on my work and you're being very dedicated to something that you're very passionate about and you're working on it non-stop uh, you this is you've just been focusing on it and I feel like there's a lot of cre creative energy going on uh, like you are suddenly feeling inspired um, and you're just being very active, uh, very busy, doing like a lot of things with your free time now. You have, you're like, okay, now that I don't work here anymore, I have so much free time, I'm free to do this, I'm free to do that. Um, and you're taking on maybe a lot of projects that you finally have been wanting uh, to work on. Um, or this can just be going to another job or a position. But whatever the case, this is something that you are very passionate about. Something that you don't mind putting all your time and energy into. Your focus on, um, you know, building your your money or your coins up here. Um, so you are very focused on that. Especially those of you that could also be writers I'm seeing you maybe finally getting a chance to work on that and you're just kind of channeling all this energy and putting any type of pain or disappointment into your story or into whatever your um, whatever whatever it is that you're creating I feel like you are channeling your pain into your artwork here and you know your words are being inspiration for other people so business wise this looks like a creative time uh, feel like you're being very uh, active um, you also may be relocating for some of you it looks like there's a possibility of traveling especially if it's due to a job like you have to relocate uh, I just feel like you're starting new. There's a, a new you going on. Uh, if you're going through a breakup, I feel like you're finally moving on from that and you're reinventing yourself um, and you're having fun while doing it. Um, you know, you could be uh, changing your image, um, eating more healthy. Maybe you've been working out. Uh, there's a possibility, too, of you meeting someone at a place that you frequent all the time. So if you go to the gym all the time, um, it's a strong possibility that you're meeting up with this person uh, that is watching you. And I'm seeing like there's some sort of flirtation between you and this person. Um, or for some of you, if you're starting a new job or a new career, you might... Uh, find that you you're attracted to your supervisor or a co-worker um, but whatever the case I'm seeing someone that you're interacting with on a daily basis that you might have some sort of attraction to so overall I just kind of feel like you're being very optimistic about these new changes going on in your life um, let me kind of get some clarity on what this Seven of Cups has been about.
If you're single, I feel like you are kind of just stepping outside of your element. And I feel like you're introducing yourself or you're meeting like uh, several people that you have uh, an attraction to. You may be getting um, more than one offer for sure. Oh, I'm seeing something in regards to a love connection between uh, earth and air. So you might find yourself most likely attracted to someone who has a lot of earth in their chart or a lot of air in their chart. Uh, you guys are kind of hitting that off. Um, also, those of you, for some of you that are a certain age and you're just like, none of this is resonating. Um, I'm feeling like your child has fallen in love. Your child may be making some sort of announcement that they're getting married. So this might have something to do with your children um, connecting or coming together. And then also for some of you, I'm seeing um, there being a connection with someone who could be um, a different age from you, like there's an age difference. Hmm. But we do. Hmm. Okay. So like the similar similar energies are here. Um, so there may be a hidden attraction to an earth sign here. Um, could be any sign. The point being, that you might feel a little confused because uh, you're having several, um, you're attracted to several people. Now, the only thing, if you are re just coming out of a relation relationship, uh, for some of you, you might just be trying to have fun, just trying to date several people. None of these people are anyone that you really want to settle down with, but maybe you're just trying to stay busy and um, not think about the relationship that you're exiting. Um, so you immediately just kind of jump into dating and um, having fun. Maybe you are kind of living in a fantasy world for the time being. Um, I feel like you're going through some sort of transformation here. For some of you, you you're going to go through a spiritual transformation. Um, for others of you, this could be a transformation of your physical body. So like I said, those of you that are maybe eating different and working out like you're trying to transform your, your physical appearance. Uh, also, someone that you know from your past, when you see them, you're going to be like, oh, my God, you look completely different. And this person has improved on their physical appearance some type of way. And with the world, to me, it, it looks like a bit of traveling going on and also starting that new chapter in your life. But let's also look a little closer at the world. For some of you, I'm seeing you becoming attracted to someone who is of a different race. Yeah, I am seeing, it's clarified by the stars. So I feel like for some of you, the world is about uh, traveling, but it's also about putting yourself out there and getting back out there in that dating pool or whatever. Maybe you are um, joining some sort of website like Plenty of Fish or um, whatever other dating sites there are. It's like maybe you're kind of putting up a profile 
um, and you're getting a lot of replies and maybe you're just kind of testing the waters to see what it's like. Maybe you, you're not someone who would normally do that, but you're just like, let me see, you know, what type of responses I get from this website. So you're getting like a lot of responses. Be very careful with that though, because with the devil showing up, um, you might get someone who could be um, stalkerish or someone that is um, very jealous or codependent. Um, and also speaking of jealousy, uh, you like, I don't know if your ex is kind of spying on you, uh, looking at your social media, maybe they're feeling jealous, um, and feel like nobody else should have you, but them, or that's the way you could be feeling. Um, but I'm seeing some sort of jealous reaction too. Uh, I feel that you are also connecting, eventually going to reconnect with someone from your past. Uh, but this person is at a distance. I don't feel like this is the recent ex. I feel like this is someone who is at a distance. So you're, you might be connecting with your ex who lives far away here. Yeah, see, something in regards to far away. And also... Uh, if again going back to that dating site you might be connecting with someone who lives at a distance from you I don't know what that mind games is though I'm feeling like someone might be playing games too maybe someone isn't taking you serious or maybe you aren't taking someone serious and again that could be because someone is just now getting out of a relationship and it's too the breakup is too fresh but you're trying to hurry up and move on and you know, immediately start putting yourself out there. Yeah, that's basically all I have, though, for um, Leo, Venus and Leo. So I hope it resonated. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you all for watching, and many blessings to you.